Pierre. Hello, Nano. Hello, everyone. Ethics. Everyone's talking about ethics, and no one really knows what it's all about. As a first approach, it's about the distinction between good and evil, right? It's not that simple. It's not a black and white picture. In a given context, not everyone agrees on what is good or evil. Okay, but what is the purpose of ethics? One of the goals of ethics is to consider what responsible behavior is. Hmm, so what does innovation ethics mean? Technology introduces innovations that modify usages, ways of life. Ethics raises the question of the meaning, the interest of such changes. But are researchers responsible for all of these changes? Researchers are responsible for their research in relation to the society in which they live. But are they responsible for the applications of their research, for the impact on health, the environment, or human condition? Ethics raises these questions in order for us to answer them together. Oh dear! Oh, <laughs> ethics certainly doesn't sound simple. <laughs> A real nuisance. I'd rather let myself be blown along by the wind. That's because you're just matter, Nana. You're not aware of your actions, so you're not to blame for the consequences. What about us, Pierre? Do we control the consequences of our actions? No, we can't control everything. Long-term consequences on the environment, health, or social justice, for example. That's why researchers are taking more and more precautions. But in order to innovate, researchers sometimes need to handle dangerous substances. In nanomedicine, for example. Ethics proposes that each sensitive project be analyzed individually. There is no general rule. On what principles is the analysis based? A code of behavior proposed by the European Commission attempts to define the principles around a few key words. Transparency, precaution, openness, dignity, respect, excellence, and responsibility. Pierre, seriously, how can researchers possibly manage their research as well as such complex philosophical discussions? Ah, <laughs> good point, Kathleen, I fully agree. And you're wrong. Huh? Such principles are not that difficult to understand or even to apply. Most scientists are aware of their responsibilities and are very interested in exchanging and sharing with society regarding all ethical issues. Granted, but in the end, isn't technological innovation dangerous? Mm, dangerous sometimes and useful most of the time. It all depends on what it's used for. Matter of fact, ethical reflections can help us anticipate those uses. Thank you, Nano. Thank you, Pierre. Thank you, everybody. Hope to see you again very soon for season two two of NanoSmile, which will feature concrete cases of nanoprocessing products in laboratories and industries.